All right, good morning, guys. Just a quick video on uh, my dirty car here as a testament to uh, the harsh winter. So, um, yeah, I just want to say a quick thank you to uh, some of you guys out there that have been uh, promoting my channel and myself and uh, Grouse Garage. Uh, yesterday put a great video on his uh, Top Car channel, as you might have seen. Uh, thank you very much, Growl. I really appreciate it. Uh, really, uh, you know, these videos are, are tough to make, are long and a tedious process of capturing the image and everything. So I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I also want to thank uh, Detona 5.7. Who uh, did also uh, the uh, Blood Brothers, uh, Mopar Blood Brothers video uh, a few days ago as well, and uh, put me on the cover of that video too, so I really appreciate it. And in that video, you can actually see, uh, I think it was past uh, close to a hundred of uh, Mopar channels out there. And uh, really, uh, if you haven't seen that video, you know, I've, uh, go, I suggest to go and, and watch it and, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So, uh, out of that video, I think it was only four channels now. I'm all subscribed to everyone's channel that uh, that uh, Daytona 5.7 showcase. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. It's fun to be part of this uh, Mopar Brotherhood. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, so uh, Daytona 5.7 had this, uh, channel, this uh, challenge yesterday about the dirty car. And uh, he had a pretty uh, disgusting Daytona. And I also saw this morning, I think it was... Uh, can't remember but uh, it was uh, it was burns Bur burnsy's rt which was also really uh disgusting but uh i think mine is uh is up there too as well Let's check it out so i'm gonna do a cold start having done any much of those since I'm on the stock exhaust and it's still pretty quiet but I'm gonna do it from the engine bay and you'll see today it's a <clears throat> I think it's a zero degrees or just a minus five degrees here um, it's very cold and uh, I want you guys to uh, listen to it uh, from the engine bay There you have it guys, minus 4 degrees outside. I just want to show you how quick the uh, engine warms up. I mean, it's really uh, due to the V8s. I mean, these engines, you know, they just warm up quickly. We're already, uh, you know, maybe a minute and a half since I started it and uh, temperature is already rising. And I also want to notice, uh, you know, some of you guys maybe don't have a second set of wheels for winters, but uh, this is what happened when you do have one and you don't have the tire monitor system. 
so it will uh, it will put this um, this uh, notice uh, when you start the car there's no alarm there's no beeping that's the good news about it and you can just you know with the help of the click of a button uh, just get it uh, go away here so uh, every time you start it up it shows this uh, this message Now the TPMS would have been nice to have uh, in this rim, but these rim I already had from the Magnum, and uh, even though I have the TPMS there in ho there at home, um, you know it would mean that I have to uninstall the tires from the rim, reinstall it. Is it worth it? Probably, probably not. I don't know. Just uh, didn't uh, didn't do yet, but I think when I'm going to change the tire, uh, eventually uh, I'll put uh, them on. So uh, so that's pretty much it. So I'm inside the home now, in the comfort of my home. I just uh, got some a few goodies uh, for Christmas, and I want to quickly uh, go through it with you guys. I got this um, skip shift eliminator uh, from uh, Speed Logics. Now this, of course, for those who have a manual, know that we have. Uh, uh, skip shift and it what it does it's it's uh, it prevents you from shifting to second gear when you're reaching a specific mile an hour um, it shifts you force you to shift in fourth to save fuel and uh, usually when that, that happens <laughs> it's never at the right moment it's either you're climbing a hill um, for some reason you know it's really at a worst time possible you have to skip the fourth and usually what happens is I shift the third again uh, to prevent this it happens here and there I mean it's not really a factor I also got some Hemi badges uh, the black and the red and I was hoping I could do a little bit of a uh, name tagging here use the uh, Hemi and then create the mic so uh, yeah, let me think. Yeah, so uh, probably I'm gonna cut it here in half and use the mic and transform the H as a K here. Put some uh, silver tape and you know maybe do a play on with words. Hemi mic as my uh, probably not put it on the car, but just to channel maybe logo or something need somewhere. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And finally, I got these uh, Mopar sticker. And I use I plan to use them on the sun visor to cover the uh, airbag sticker that you uh, can hardly remove. And uh, although these, I thought they had a black background or transparent, so they might not do the trick. So I don't know. Should I install them somewhere else? Maybe I don't know where yet. Let me know what you think where I should put it.